Hey, we've got a page over here whereby we have a header. But look, when I scroll down, the header disappears. It is a sticky header. And I could go all the way down to here. This is a copy of the page, by the way. The moment I move up, just a pixel. Look at that. The header reappears with the header and the text. And there's no delay going on there. You could have a menu. You could have a logo. You could have all sorts. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So I've got a page over here. And we have a header or a container that I've already put at the top. By the way, this is not a header template. I'm just doing this on a page to prove to you that it does definitely work. This is a container with a header. And when I scroll up and down, the header disappears. That's because it's just a normal container. It's not sticky at all. So let's go and make it sticky. And then we're going to drop in some JavaScript and a bit of CSS. And what will happen is, well, you know what it will do. It will disappear and reappear when you scroll up. So we're going to go to the advanced tab. We're going to go down to motion effects. And I'm going to make this be a sticky top. You can decide on the desktop, the tablet, or the mobile. Let's just go for a sticky top at the moment and you scroll up and down, it is now stuck to the top. By the way, this only has a heading in here. You could have had a logo, a WordPress menu, lots of different items. You could even have a container within a container within a container. It doesn't really matter. The main thing is that everything we're going to do, we're going to do on the parent container. That's the important bit. So at the moment, we have a sticky top. Now, here's the important bit. I'm going to say make my effect be 100 pixel. So I have to scroll 100 pixels before it disappears. You may decide to go with 500 pixels or 300. That's entirely up to you. And you can tinker with it as well, depending on the tablet or the mobile. But I'm going to leave it as 100. The next thing I'm going to do is actually give the CSS ID and the CSS class a name. And I'm going to call it scrolling header on both of them. Now, why am I doing on both? Because we are going to add in a little bit of extra CSS just to clean things up with the transition and uh, it, it makes it just look a little bit better. So CSS ID and CSS class, make sure you've got scrolling header, then go and hit update. Then what you want to do is go over to your WordPress dashboard, make sure you've got code snippets installed. Code snippets, amazing plugin. It's my recommended one that you all should be using. You go and you click add new. You go and give it a title and then you're going to go and paste in this code. So where do you get this code from? Well, don't worry, there'll be a link in the video description. You just copy this literally as it is, okay? You copy it. The only two things or three things you're going to change are the description here. So if you'd gone and called it sticky scroll in your ID in your class, put the word sticky scroll here and here. And if you had decided that you were going to actually have your offset be 300 pixel, you put my negative 300 pixel, minus 300 pixel, okay? Positive in the elemental, in the snippet, it is a negative number. Once you've done that, make sure that it is now saved and you have activated it. And you scroll down, can you see it disappears? And I now move a little bit up and it reappears. Now look, I could go all the way down to here. And I, the moment I move upwards, it appears. Now, if you want to make it feel a little bit better, because there's a little bit of a jump there, what you want to do is go to your parent container, go to the advanced tab, scroll down until you get to custom CSS and drop this bit of CSS in. Transition all 0.5 seconds is important. And if I now just make sure that's updated and we go back to it, disappears and it just reappears. Now, some people have said when they do that, the words are following afterwards. So the header comes down and then the words follow. I'm proving to you that it works, okay? And unless there's something else you've done and you might just want to double check, have you got any JavaScript delay optimization going on? You might want to double check that that's not hindering this, but this works. And I'm going to now show you this on a live site. This is on a private incognito window now. You scroll down, it disappears. The moment you scroll up, look, I could go be all the way down here. And the minute you move up, that header reappears. It's really simple and easy to do. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time. Feel the pain, let the grind. I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that.